Shalom Akim, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Gadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who rule well, who told us the truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Shai, and honor citations to the elect. So I'm entitled that she's right. Okay. This girl right here. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, that this brother put up, genus uh, Suriname, Suriname, and she's absolutely right. She's on point. You know. May the Lord send this girl a, a man of the Lord. So that she could be delivered, man, cause she she she's on point, man, and uh, she she let she let Esau have it, you know, which is way better than a lot of these other goddamn wildebeests and wild animals, monkeys, monkey ass nigga women shit, man, you know, twerking in front of a a, a, a damn protest, all right, then trying to justify it. Salaka, so may a woman like this man run into a man of the Lord, you know, and be good in that day. Because she let Esau have it, boy. And just remembering a couple of points she said, I know one point she pretty much said that um that they that that, that they're gonna be punished by God for doing this, for doing this wickedness, causing even kids to wear masks all day. Knowing that that's what's going to make them sick. Duh. You know. We we inhale oxygen and breathe out uh, carbon dioxide. Okay. So when you're wearing a mask, you're breathing out oxygen. And you're breathing in that same carbon dioxide that you're breathing out. Which is going to make you, what, sick. Duh. So her saying... She she was saying uh, uh uh like and you know that you know you're gonna make them sick, <laughs> right? And then she went on to say like yo you're gonna be in trouble with God, and that's absolutely right. So let me get that. This song like dudes think that like the Most High is just a far off. This is how it's always gonna be. You know this is life. This is the standard. No. All right, the Most High's only begotten Son is about to return. Life is about to change as you know it. It's gonna be a complete change, you know. But that's the scriptures also. Uh, that fathers fell asleep, you know. Let me get that real quick because they think that the Most High is just like just just it's kind of like 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 he's an idea or something. <laughs> like he's an idea, just do the right thing, and like he's Santa Claus or something, you know. Do the right thing, and you'll be good. And then that's it. No, there's more to it than you could even fucking imagine, you know. But they don't got the playbook, so they don't understand. So this is um, Second Peter three and four, it's three and three. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last day scoffers, walking after their own lusts, right? Thinking everything is a joke. Clowns. A scoffer is nothing more than a clown. You know, a goof. A fucking goofy. Walking after their own lusts. <coughs> Salaki, man. Walking after their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of his coming? See? Scoffing, making jokes, trying to make people laugh. Trying to have that five seconds of fame, you know, trying to ride the crowd like years ago when we used to camp, you know, in the heat of uh, downtown Newark. <laughs> and niggas always wanted to come and be a fucking clown, get the crowd on his back and make people laugh. And yeah, that's right. He's right. You know, just talking crap. But meanwhile, he doesn't believe in nothing. You just gonna go and, 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 and play the damn game or something. 
says, for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation, see? So they think things are just going to continue as they is forever. And and that's what Esau the so called white man thinks as well. But no, most of about to return and your ass is in trouble, bro. You think, boom, he will, let me, let me get another scripture before I read that. He will in no wise let thee go. That might be in my pocket for. I might be in Apocrypha. Yeah, Psalms. I mean, not Psalms, it's Sirach. Let me get that first. You think you're just going to do all this wickedness, man, and, and, and that's it? No, she's absolutely on point. And shit, if no brother claimed it yet, I'll claim this joint right here. Shit. Well, this is uh, Ecclesiastes or Sirach, chapter 5, versus, uh, um, yeah, Sirach 5 and 4. It says, say not, I have sinned, and what harm hath happened unto me? Yeah, you, you murdered somebody, you know, but you're still sleeping good at night. You murdered him because he stepped on your jo smudged your Jordans, you know, or, or you commit adultery after adultery, but you're still good. You just got a job interview for, for $18 an hour. You're doing good in life. But you're living this wicked life, but you're doing good. But what? It says, right, because nothing happened to you. But guess what? The Lord said to say not. Don't don't say it. Don't 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 think that you good. Because why? It says, for the Lord is long suffering. <laughs> the Lord don't snap, bro. The Lord don't snap. The Lord is beautiful, perfect. Absolutely a billion, a trillion percent perfect, bro. In every single way. He don't snap. You got a lot of dudes in prison right now because they just snap. They quick to react, quick to get hot. Dumb. Honestly, dumb. What, what, what'd you say? What, what, what? So what's up? Come on. Like, dude, you, you what's wrong with you? You dumb. You got demons on you, bro. Chill. The Lord ain't like that. He's long suffering. Oh, he did that. Alright. He did that. Okay. He did that. Alright. Alright. Alright, bet. I right. still doing I right, bet. Alright, so like let's do this. Seems like the Lord is long suffering, man. He don't gotta get you tomorrow or, or, or one second. <laughs> That's why it says. He will in no wise let thee go. He didn't forget how you uh, uh, committed adultery, made a rap song about it. You know? And this and that. Okay? He didn't forget all your wickedness. Right? How you murdered. Mur he was a murderer. Alright? Now at least he repent. Okay? Really, if you of the hopeful elect, your sins are covered by Yahweh Shai. That's not to say you're given license to sin. You be a nigga and do what you want. Now, at least you repent. That's another story. But when you just a nigga about, like the scriptures say, only acknowledge thy sins, bro. But when you don't even acknowledge it, and you don't even consider, that's the, what makes the difference between us, man. That's what makes, people say we all sin, we're all sinners. Yeah, but you're a willful sinner. You know, you don't try to repent, but that's another story. But um, going into these two third niggas, because these two third niggas, he's gonna in no wise let thee go, along with Esau getting back on point. So to tie it all back in, here it is: you, you making, you killing kids, man, on purpose, making them wear the mask. You doing all this damn wickedness. You sitting in these damn high chairs. Let's get them sitting in the chairs. Look, you sitting in these. Oh, I'm in a high seat. Oh, I got power. Look at man. Listen here, man. She's absolutely right. Every single one of you is going to get it from the most high. The most high is going to fuck y'all up. And I don't care, man. I don't care what comes with saying that because it's the truth, man. The Most High is going to fuck y'all up, bro. Bad. Real bad. And you 
coon ass, Uncle Tom ass niggas in the midst, y'all gonna get it even. Right now, y'all gonna get it even worse. But when we into the kingdom, Esau, you gonna get it unimaginably horrific for your goddamn wickedness, man. That's why I feel the brother collab in my camp. Oh, GMA Chief Cornerstone, he always be saying, but then you don't want to be called the devil. <laughs> you do all this wickedness, but you don't want nobody to speak about you in a bad light. You do all this wickedness, but you would. I'm going to slavery, but it's a shock to you that your ass is going to slavery for a thousand years. Like you wicked, like you messed up in the brain. Like that's another thing she said. She said you all deserve to be in a psych ward, and that is a fact. That is a fact. That is a fact. So just know Esau, he will in no wise let thee go. Meaning what? Off the hook. Scot free. Well, they say scot free, right? He let him off scot free. You know, he ain't gonna let you off. He ain't gonna let you go away scot free. No, you're going to pay for everything you've done, even slavery, even back to when you wouldn't even let us pass in your in your land. Okay, when we wanted to pass through the land, right? Well, I believe yeah, with Moses, and you said no. You literally look. You the Lord ain't letting you let let nothing go. Everything you've done, you got to pay for it. The trail of tears. Uh, the cargo slave ships. Setting us up one against another. Every single thing you've done, you have to pay for that. Okay. So she's on point, and you and, and you all are psychotic. You're murderers. You're mass murderers, man. You're the fucking devil, man. Shoot, I'll definitely clean that joint, man. Real talk. Nobody clean this girl, man. She's on point. She told y'all off. So this is Psalms one forty because she said you all belong in jail. Guess what? They are they they they're gonna pretty much pretty much you can say yes they're going to jail. <laughs> they are gonna go to jail when when the Lord returns when Yahweh returns. Hey, this is Psalms one forty nine and five. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Who are the saints? The Israelites. Not just so anybody. The Israelites. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and uh, uh, blue, blue the blue letter of the word saints real quick. Uh, Sayad, Ha Sayad. Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought it would have Israel in there, but we all know the precept anyway. Psalms seventy-eight. I don't want to make this too long. You know, just blue letter saint saints in Israel, man. You know. Psalm 75, I believe, it says, uh, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praise of the Most High be in their mouth, as it already is, you know, and a two-edged sword in their hand. But that's coming down later. We ain't doing nothing right now. Nothing. Not a damn thing, bro. We ain't doing nothing, bro. Verse 7. It says to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. To bind their kings. See, these same people, these, these people with position of power. First and foremost, of course, the elites, Rothschilds, you know, Vanderbilt, you know, who else? I don't even care about you dudes, man. I don't even know your names like that. Um, Rockefeller, the Getty, DuPonts. You know, all you really eat, and then all you people sitting in these seats, passing laws, you know, this is for all y'all. It says to bind their kings with chains, see? Now what happens when you're in prison? You get, you get bounded in chains. So you all, you are going to jail. <laughs> now, of course, it's not going to be a physical building, but you're going to be, really, really, we got to see when we get there. You're going to be in like some fucking type of pits, man. You're going to be living in pits. And you're going to crawl up out of your pit every morning and work because you're a wickedness. So don't get mad at me. Get mad at your fucking self. Wicked ass motherfuckers, man. You don't like my language, man. Grow up. 
says to execute upon them judgment written. This honor, who and it is a beautiful honor. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. So it's going to be an honor to kick your motherfucking ass in the kingdom, boy, for all your goddamn wickedness, man. It's going to be an honor. You know? And with that, that's pretty much it. You could check out the video. You know? Hey, this girl was on point. Alright, show them